Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, August 1st. In 1794, in an act of rebellion, some 7,000 farmers and citizens gather and head to Pittsburgh in protest of the newly established whiskey tax. President Washington led an army of some 10,000 men and were able to put an end to the uprising. In 1798, the Battle of the Nile, also known as the Battle of Abukir Bay, takes place in northern Egypt as British forces under Horatio Nelson defeat the French forces in a decisive naval engagement. In 1831, to replace the 600-year-old span designed by architect John Rennie, the new London Bridge opens up to traffic, formerly overseen by King William IV. In 1842, in Philadelphia, a race riot breaks out as Irish immigrants clash with African Americans who were celebrating the end of slavery in the West Indies. Buildings were burned, mass chaos ensued, the rioting would last for three days. In 1876, in the year of the 100th birthday of the USA, home of the Rockies, gold miners, and homesteaders, Colorado becomes the 38th state to join the Union. In 1907, founded by Italian immigrant A.P. Gianni, the first branch of the Bank of Italy, now known as Bank of America, opens up in San Francisco. In 1914, in Jamaica, Marcus Garvey founds the UNIA, Universal Negro Improvement Association, with the goal of uniting all African people. One God, one aim, one destiny was the motto. In 1936, in a show of Nazi propaganda and symbolism, the Summer Olympic Games opening ceremony takes place in Berlin, Germany, overseen by Adolf Hitler. In 1971, race car driver Richard Petty, in his Plymouth Roadrunner, wins the Dixie 500 to become the first NASCAR driver to earn $1 million in his career. And in 1994, one of the most durable players in the history of the game, Cal Ripken Jr. of the Orioles, becomes just the second player to play in 2,000 consecutive games. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice weekend. Be safe out there. And bless up.